Hey everybody, it's your girl Sweet and Sexy. Okay, I had to come over here and turn the television off. But, um, welcome back to my kitchen. I thought I would bring y'all along while your girl cook, okay? What we having today? Some greens with some ham hocks. I already cooked the ham hocks. Um, they're not completely done, just part way. I just, and I said, mm, I had told some of them I was going to cook this for Sunday, but we had got some disturbing news. Um, one of my cousins passed away from a massive heart attack. <sighs> Whole nother video. That's why your girl sweet and sexy. Tell folks, take care of yourself. But anyway, whole nother video. I will be sharing that with you guys. But, um, so I didn't end up cooking it when I said I was. So I wanted to let my girls see that I did cook and I figured I'd show y'all, you know. So I already washed, cut my greens. These are some greens and y'all can see the reason I said I cut them. You can see that they still kind of big. I'm going to leave them like that. Those were the greens that was in the bag. That's why they kind of got all them stalks on them. I got to take some more of them off. Um, yeah. So I washed them a couple times and got them right there. And I, my meat started that to cooking. I got, I don't have any green pepper or onion. So I got the ones in the bag, which is right where my finger at. Right there. I'm going to put my okra in there. Uh, when they're just about done, I just like mine to steam on top so they don't be stringy. Got some garlic powder, crushed pepper, a little bit of regular salt. Have no more sea salt. I always put a little hot sauce in mine. You know, a little love. And I got some apple cider vinegar that I'm going to put in there. Also, I'm going to fry some fish um, today. That's what I'm having with it. So, I will be back. Yeah. And what? A blink of an eye. Bye, y'all. Okay. Now, what I do is I usually take a piece of the meat out because I try to cook at least two pieces. But I forgot to take a piece of the meat out, which is fine. It's no problem. But I usually put half my greens in the pot. Then I put all my seasonings and doohickeys that I'm going to put on it, minus the okra for now, um, so that all the seasonings and stuff is in the middle of the greens. So while they're cooking, they could, um, you know, have that flavor going all up and through there and all around. You know what I'm saying? So I just wanted to show you guys that I put all my things in and I'm going to put the rest of my greens into the pot. Yeah. Put the rest of them in the pot. Um, I don't have a cameraman. I don't have iPods and all of that fancy stuff. So I am going to need both hands. To walk this over to the stove. So that's what I'm getting ready to do. I just wanted to show you guys. And I'll see you guys on the next part. Bye y'all. And guys. While waiting on a meal like that. That is. It's not the healthiest meal. You could have chose to eat today. But what the hell. We can't always be healthy. Fire is food. Eat healthy. Fire is food right. We just wouldn't be normal right. So. Choose to snack on something a little healthier and i know i'm not a size five or ten so i shouldn't be on here giving good um uh some type of good health advice or tell people go to the doctor and stuff because i guess you got to be a certain size to do all of that but there's a lot of skinny folks that's running around here that's sick okay it's a lot of skinny folks running around here that's sick so um Choose to eat something a little healthier. If I ain't talking to nobody but all my fat little girlfriends that we all on here together and we encourage one another. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> you know, choose a snack on something a little healthier or eat something a little healthier 
that day that's going to help you help push that um, those fats and those carbs and those clogged arteries and all that stuff that's going to help push and get some of that that stuff up out of you okay so my choice is um i'm gonna have me one of these yogurts from um walmart the um great value the blueberry yogurt i'm gonna have that and um until dinner is done later you know so i can have me some uh yeah y'all fried fish i ain't baking it i like baked fish and i, I make some good baked fish and i'll show y'all one day but um me and my baby, we gonna have us some uh, <laughs> some fried fish and some greens today. That's what I'm cooking. So um, I will talk to you guys later. I hope uh, you know you guys are having a beautiful, wonderful day today. And don't forget to clean up your kitchen when you cooking and stuff. Okay? You want to invite us? You want to do a video? Invite us in. Clean up your house. And then invite us in. Don't be inviting us to your house and your house nasty. We don't want to see that. We don't need to see your nastiness. Clean up and then come on and invite us in. Don't disrespect us by inviting us into your nasty house, into your filth. Okay? Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I ain't starting no trouble. I'm just, my channel is about truth. So I'm speaking the truth. That's why I respect when people come on my channel and they tell me the truth. I just respect the truth. Okay? Don't don't sugarcoat and play games with me. Tell me the truth. All right? Tell me the T. Capital T. All right. Bye, y'all. Yeah, so now it's time to actually burn a candle. Mm -hmm. I was going to burn this one. Y'all, this is one of my favorite candles, but... And it's almost all burnt up. But y'all, when I tell y'all that doggone, um, Jesus, let me get it. This here, this beach flowers and that rose candle, whew, got me feeling some kind of way. Okay. I mean, that stuff stink and stuff so bad. I mean, I have a headache because I've been actually smelling flowers all day long. I'm like, I can't even, because I've been smelling them doggone um, flowers all doggone day. I don't even want to burn my doggone honeysuckle this morning. But I'm just going to probably burn the rest of my little uh, garden strawberry instead. So, yeah, I just wanted to come in. And share that also with you guys. I guess this is going to be like a little vlog thing today. Y'all, this is my first time having this blueberry one. I'm trying to uh, trying to turn it around so y'all can see it. The um, blueberry low-fat yogurt from, um, it's in the Walmart brand. Um, <clears throat> it's pretty good. It's really, really good. I was actually enjoying all that, um, all the Greek yogurt, but, um, it makes me real gassy. <laughs> so I actually had to start, I had to go back to the regular yogurt. I mean, I still do eat the, uh, Greek yogurt, but I actually had to go back to the regular yogurt because it makes me less gassy, you know. So, um, if you guys is out there and y'all looking for y'all was maybe wondering about the the walmart brand yogurt i mean it's real good so try it out you know i just wanted to share that with you guys too since we talking about cooking and all that great stuff okay um i'll see you guys in the blink of an eye bye y'all Ooh we i wish y'all could smell them greens okay but Let's take the top off and see what's going on down inside this pot. Y'all, whoo, my house is smelling good right now, okay? And it ain't from a candle. Okay. Uh, did I, um, come over here without something to, yeah. 
excuse me. <laughs> I know ain't no excuse for me, right? Okay. Let's see. Mm. Mm. Yes, darling, yes. Bring it over here because I ain't had no light on over near my stove. I just wanted y'all to see. I'm going to stir this around and stuff with both hands. And uh, I'll see y'all in a minute. Just wanted y'all to see part way what was going on. Mm. Okay, y'all. I stirred them around. Them some tough greens. Okay. So they still got a ways to go. And you see how they cook down, right? That was a whole pot. Mm -hmm. So now at this point, hold on. I'm going to put them good old okra down in there and let it uh, go on and flavor that up. You know what I'm saying? So uh, see y'all in the blink of an eye. Bye y'all. Mm. What y'all eating today? Okay, just see. just wanted to show you guys the fish. Got two pieces of the butterfish and one piece of the Kroger that I had the other day. And I just like cut it in half. So me and my boyfriend will have, um, you know, that and one of these a piece. Okay. All right, guys. See you in the blink of an eye. Okay, guys, let's see what these greens is doing. I got the fish over in the um, pot, not pan, <laughs> in the pot frying. And uh, let's see what these greens is looking like before I heat them up. <clears throat> Bam. Mm -mm. Okay. Y'all, that's going to be some good eating right there. That's going to be some good eating right there. And you see how I let the okra just steam on top? So to all you guys who say, I don't like okra. They too slimy. It's not slimy. It's called stringy. And um, if you just let them steam on top, can you see? You don't see no slime or strings. I was just saying what y'all say. Y'all say slime. Okay, um, so that's how you cook okra if you don't want them to be, um, you know, real stringy, slimy, whatever you call it. Okay, and uh, yeah, that's them greens, y'all. So I'm getting ready to heat them up. My baby should be coming, and uh, dinner will be done when you get here. Yes, y'all. Mm, 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 mm. He told me he thought I was frying chicken. I'm like, no, I told you I wanted to get rid of the rest of that fish, nigga. But, um, <clears throat> so that's what your girl is having. Some fish, collard greens with some okra and some good old ham hawks up in there. Mm-hmm. Yes, baby, yes. Okay. Um... Another thing that I always, I knew it was something I wanted to tell you guys. What I always do is let my, um, I always let my greens, after I cook them, I let them like cool down, you know, um, become room temperature, whatever. I never eat them like right after they're done. You know, I never do that. Um, you know, you want to get those flavors a chance to kind of get up in there and marinate, come together and all of that great stuff. So that's the other thing that I always do. I always try to cook them early enough where I can do that. Okay? So I will see you guys in a blink of an eye when I have everything all plated up. All right? Thank you. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Bye, y'all. Okay. The fish is done. The greens is done. 
Now it's time for a little love. I always like to put a little bit of uh, apple cider vinegar on my greens. Just a, just a little bit. Goes a long way. And, of course, a little hot sauce love. You know, gotta have that love. I do put the uh, pe the pepper flakes in there, so I don't need a whole lot of hot sauce. But that's it, y'all. Fish. That's a piece of the butterfish. Mhm. Mm that's that Kroger's. Mm. Kroger's. And these are them greens. All righty. All right, y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in. We having collard greens with okra, ham hocks, and fried fish. Mm, 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 mm. And yogurt for dessert. Bye, y'all.